Now that we know how uh, closures work, or at least the basics, we can uh, get back to our iterators. And so an iterator is a, uh, it is a collection, a collection of things that gives you one item at a time when you call next. And you don't do this, uh, you don't do this manually, but there are methods um, called uh, like into iter, iter and iter mute for, for vectors anyway. And uh, you will see them, uh, you'll see them used all the time with vex. And uh, this is what they look like. So you have into iter, iter, and iter mute. So this is an iterator that owns its values. So this is like taking self, taking self in a method. So these are all the same as, you know, method signature or function signatures, method signatures. Um, and this one is a iterator of references. So it's like a reference to self and then iterator of mutable references. So it is like a mute self. And so this will, this intuitor will destroy the iterator it'll consume it, but uh, usually you're using it to make something new, so you don't care. And um, so yeah, don't worry about that. And uh, so I'm going to uh, show some examples of that. So let's, uh, let's imagine we have this uh, thing called vector one. And uh, let's see, I think uh, we'll make it mutable. Um, and it's going to have one, two, and three. So that's all it has. And then we're going to have a uh, vector 1a, and we are going to uh, make it from vector 1. So it will be vector 1 dot iter. And so we're going to, you know, not destroy it because we're just taking uh, references. And then we're going to map. And map, by the way, we're going to see these two methods, uh, map and for each. <clears throat> And map is uh, this uh, does something to each item, then passes it on. Whereas for each is uh, does something to each item. So that is the difference there. But they both uh, you'll see a closure inside here. So what we do is uh, so map will take each item and then. Um, we have a closure here, and now we can uh, mod We can do whatever we want to it inside here. And this is when closures get really fun. So uh, we'll say we want to, you know, add one to everything. So we'll take this, we'll add one to it, and then if you run this, it's not going to actually I need to copy that out. If you run this, it's not going to uh, do anything yet, and that is because. Uh, we haven't uh, we haven't passed it on. Actually, I'll I'll print it and I'll show you what I mean. So let's say we try to you know print out this uh, this vector of ours. Russ is going to say uh, this is not a vector. It's going to say it's an iter of iter. And you know what's that? We we were we were hoping for a uh, for a new vector. And the reason why is because map does something and then passes it on. So it's it just passes on uh, as an iterator. It's not a vec. So we have to collect it. So collect it into a vec of i32. And then now Rust is going to uh, do what we want. And uh, it'll say 2, 3, and 4. So we have made uh, this 2, 3, and 4 out of this. And this vector is still alive because uh, it's a regular iter, not an into iter. And so the next one, vector 1b, we are going to uh, make this from, uh, let's see, iter mute. No, not into, we're going to do into iter. So we are going to uh, take ownership of it now. So now we uh, will take this x and we'll say x times 10, and then we will collect that as well. And we'll have a vec of i32s again. So now uh, vector one should uh, should not exist. So let's uh, make sure that uh, it's not there.
and you can see it's saying you know borrow with moved, moved value uh, it doesn't implement copy so it's the same as when you you know put something into a function and it takes ownership and now it's gone so now we have uh, these two that own their values and then the next thing we will look at is a uh, <clears throat> let's see mute vector two and this is going to be a vec with uh, 10 20 20 and 30 and we are going to use iter mute to modify this one in place so what we will do is a uh, vector 2 iter mute and then this time we are not going to use map because we are just we have uh, mutable references so we can modify it we don't need to pass it on we're just changing this vector so it's exactly it's like a for loop basically and we'll, so we'll say for each and x and this uh, one interesting thing this will uh, this will create a small error and uh, maybe you can guess why and that is because you cannot use plus equals on a reference and this is uh, this is giving references and rest is uh, being very helpful by saying hey you can dereference x and we know how to do that just put a star there and now we are changing the value instead of trying to change a reference because a reference is not the value and so that uh, that happens a lot when you uh, when you use uh, closures and these and these chain methods, it, uh, you know sometimes it'll be a reference and sometimes it'll be a reference of a reference, and then you uh, you need to you know double star to get back to the value, and uh, so that's how that works. And then we will just uh, print out our uh, our three vectors and uh, see what they look like. And so you can see, so this one this one is gone. Uh, we used it to make uh, vector 1b, but uh, before we used it up, we, uh, we took some references to make a new vector here. And then uh, we took this one and we, we used for each to modify it in place instead of mapping. And so that is a first introduction to, uh, to iterators with some closures inside too.